Hey guys, this time the Hilux gets a new engine. Before I go into details about this new one, uh, we'll do a few runs on the old engine, which is basically a pretty much stock bottom end with a ported head. So righto, we'll run that up, see what it does, and then I'll go into some more details about this one. So, as you can see, the old engine makes pretty good power on low boost, thanks to all the bolt-ons and the ported head. Now, the new engine, other than having the Sicko Gold Fade, is a 7A block with a 4A crank, which is basically a, either a 7A D-stroker or 4A long rod. It's running custom rods and aftermarket pistons. It's running one of my original VVTi setups with the turd head, which is a big port head that's been modified. It's just running stock cams at the moment, same as the old engine. Uh, yeah, all the same bolt-ons, custom plenum, ITBs, GTX 2860, custom exhaust manifold, etc. All right, we'll chuck it in the truck and see how it goes. The whole end game with this engine is to make the biggest power band possible. As you can see with the stock cams, we made a decent power gain down the bottom with the VVTi, but it's not really pulling the revs I want. So what I'm going to do is swap to a bigger inlet cam. You also probably noticed the old engine made a bit more power. That's due to the head being a bit better than the one that's on the current engine. So yep, we'll chuck the bigger inlet cam in and we'll do the same thing as last time. We'll run it up with the VVTi locked to a number, which is around the recommended and then I'll run it up with the VVTi map 